The reason we're going to Europe, like the main reason, is we're going to the Cannes Film Festival, which I'm so excited about. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooke McQuaid and I'm 26 years old from Perth, Western Australia. We are finally doing another weekly vlog. I had probably a week and a half off, I'd say. Um, I'm finding that I've been staying up a bit too late, so I'm just trying to get my routine in check. I also started like a new role at work, just doing some work here and there for like COVID related stuff. So I've been very, very busy at work and just adjusting to the new work routine, exercise routine, plus YouTube routine, but we're getting there. So I'm sorry that I haven't filmed for a while, but so yeah, happy Monday. It is the 7th of March and it's actually a public holiday in Western Australia today, but I did go to work today. I've been doing some contact tracing for COVID things, so went to work. Um, quite busy at the moment, obviously, but it was good. Day went very fast and then I went out for dinner with my partner down to a local pub near us that we hadn't tried before. You will see that after this footage. And yeah, had some, like a chicken chili salad very very good but I'm so full I was supposed to go to the gym today but I for some reason I've hurt my neck on the walk home like it's okay but moving it side to side and up and down is like a bit painful so I'm thinking I've just pinched something so hopefully it'll be fine by morning I am into the fourth week of the challenge actually so I've done three weeks now so I'll talk to you more about that this week I have some exciting news to share with you so keep on watching for when I share that that'll be later this week um, but yeah, I am just going to chill for the rest of my Monday evening. I'm quite tired today, but I'm hoping to wake up early and go to the gym before work. I start work at 8am and I'm not generally a morning person. So that's my intention. I'm putting it out there to you guys and we'll see what happens. But I'll see you in the morning. Tuesday. I haven't spoken to you today but you will have seen that I just got back home from the gym and you are correct in assuming that I didn't make it this morning but we're gonna keep trying and going in the morning it hasn't happened yet my friend at work today told me I might just have to admit to myself that I'm an evening person but we're gonna keep trying um, I caught up with a friend after work briefly which is so nice I haven't seen her for a while and then yeah went to the gym I started week four of my 12 week challenge so we're getting there we're almost a third of the way through already which is crazy to think but it was legs day today and I am just about to have dinner and I know what you're thinking Maccas aren't you tracking and I am but um, something that I've learned from my coaches is if you're really craving something you can always find a way to fit it in and I'm having a grilled chicken wrap from there so just substituting my normal order the one thing that I will admit that I really miss is chips hot chips I still eat a few but I just as soon as this 12 weeks is over I really want to have a very big bag of chips but I'm gonna enjoy my dinner watch modern family we're still making our way through the seasons and I'll chat to you later my high protein smoothie uh, very good you will have seen it in a few weekly vlogs already I have quite a few calories left today some days I'm really hungry other days I'm not I was discussing with my coach was discussing with me that maybe we could try 
calorie cycling so on the days where I'm hungry I have like more calories and then on the days I'm not you know you just average out your calories based on the week but we'll just see how that goes um, so yeah just had my protein smoothie as like a sweet treat and just to get a little bit more protein on but I wanted to tell you so I've just washed my hair as well not that you can probably tell very good in this lighting um, I'm still trying to work out if I want to keep it like a lighter colour or if I want to give it a bit of a chop and go back brown. I will tell you tomorrow some exciting news um, which is why my hair is very important because I have a very 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 special event coming up not till May um, but yeah I need to look the best I can ever look so I need to really work out what to do with my hair so please let me know in the comments below but today was one of those showers where it was like you are tone my hair, wash my hair um, you know, like the shaving shower, skincare routine, everything. And I tried something because when I tone my hair and because it is coloured, um, it can go quite dry. And this lady at work recommended the My Organics uh, Miracle Marks, the goji one. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this big tub and she picked it up for me so I believe she got it from Chemist Warehouse I'll try and link it in the description below but yeah she kindly gave me one to try and I tried it after my hair wash um, so I toned my hair, conditioned and double shampooed and then after that whilst my hair was still wet I then put this mask in, um, heated it up with the blow dryer for maybe 5 minutes and then just put it in a towel for the remaining 10 so you can do between 5 and 15 minutes depending on the hydration you want. I did 15 minutes and I then I washed it out, gave it a really quick blow dry and honestly it feels so soft. It feels like when you go to the hairdressers and they can make your hair nice and soft. So I highly recommend it. Apparently it can be quite difficult to find because it sells out but I just thought I'd pop that in. I'm going to work out how to cycle it into my normal weekly routine because I don't think I want to do it on the days I wash my hair. I think it should be hair wash day, one day, a few days later, hair mask, if anybody cares. But I am going to be quiet, enjoy my smoothie. My, I think my partner and I will watch the last episode of Blue Planet by David Attenborough that we have left to watch. It's like a very calming thing to watch at night time and I, it's just so beautiful honestly. Then I'll probably Call it a night, I think, so I'll see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. It is just after 6 p.m. I've just gone for a walk, so that's the footage you would have seen. I did like a half an hour walk today around the suburb and Hyde Park. It was really, really beautiful. So, loved that. I am about to head to the gym, so I'm just making a protein shake to take with me. Protein shake, I just used that um, Thrive Plant Protein by Naked Harvest in the vanilla pancake mix, the same one that I use in my smoothies. So I just put two in there, add some water and then shake it up. This one tastes really good um, just with water as well, so that's good. I needed a few more steps today and it could have been walk home or um, get a lift and then go for like a scenic route uh, and then go for a scenic walk. So I decided that one instead. Just going to fill this up with water. But I have an arm stay at the gym today, so I will try to film a little bit of that for you guys but, uh, pretty much what I do is if I'm a little bit low on protein for the day I will make um, a protein shake to go and I'll drink that in the car on the way and then just consume water at the gym so that's what we're gonna do today but off to the gym now I'll talk to you more when I get home because I do have exciting news to share but I'll talk to you when I get home
haven't actually spoke to you today, but you will have seen that I had like a little picnic um, at work today for lunch and then I've been to the gym. So we went down to the river near my work for lunch today, like a colleague of mine um, organised to have a little picnic with a few of us girls. It was just so lovely and a really good way to break up the working day. I also got, I think, about two kilometres of walking just on lunch break, so that was really good. And then I went to the gym and it was legs and glutes day. This week is my last week of the first like rotation of exercises. So we do like three, four week sets, I guess, programs. Um, so this week has been really focusing on trying to up the weights and get some PBs. And I definitely did that today, but I felt so sick by the end of it. I think I pushed it a little bit too far, but that's okay. Like I think we're working out where I'm at, which is good. Um, and then I did yin yoga, which felt amazing. I don't think I did yin last week, or if I did, it feels a lifetime ago. And yeah, it felt really good. I think I needed it. I've probably let my um, mindfulness exercises slip a little bit, which is also why I had two weeks off YouTube. I was just struggling to get into a routine. And I have been, I think I mentioned at the start of the vlog, but I have been contact tracing at work. Um, so doing like a lot of COVID stuff, which has meant that it's been really, really busy. So it's obviously really rewarding. It feels nice to be able to do something for the community, but it's incredibly tiring. So I think it's good for me to get back into some of these mindful practices. I did my meditation before bed last night, which is also something I've let slip. So that was lovely. But I'm finally sitting down with you. I just turned on the fan, so if you can hear that, I do apologise. But I thought I'd sit down and chat with you because I keep alluding to the fact that I'm going to give you some exciting news. So grab a cup of tea and I'll explain. I, um, myself and my partner are heading to Europe in May. It's so exciting and it feels so foreign to be, like, going overseas. Well, going on a holiday, honestly. And, like, we're taking four weeks of annual leave, which just, just sounds crazy, like... I know a few years ago that was so normal, but yeah, we've been living in this weird limbo period. Uh, obviously, it's still a little bit risky, especially given Perth um, and Western Australia is almost in their peak. We haven't even hit peak yet, but hopefully we get over there nice and safely. And the reason we're going to Europe, like the main reason is we're going to the Cannes Film Festival, which so excited about so my partner has always wanted to go that's been like an ambition to him for him and it's open to 28 years and under so what it is is you can get like a three-day pass to go to some of the movies and all of that um, to do that you have to do like an application I do think applications might be still out so if you really like films and you have the privilege to be able to travel um, then check it out if you want but yeah we wrote a letter of motivation explaining why we like films and why we want to go to Cannes and I can happily say that we we're both accepted which is so exciting um, yeah it just feels really surreal so we've been planning that a little bit in the background but we've got four weeks of leave booked and we're gonna hopefully go Amsterdam, Paris, Cannes for the film festival, might go to Monaco for um, an evening, then Milan, Switzerland, Luxembourg. So I've been to Europe and my partner hasn't, but I never went to Luxembourg. So I thought, you know what, I'll pop it on and try it. And somewhere else I haven't been is Norway. So I think I'm gonna, we're gonna head to Norway too and then fly home from there. Uh, I am so excited, like, and it hasn't really sunk in just yet, but we've booked our flights to Amsterdam, but we still need to book the flight home. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. So that is my exciting news that I wanted to share with you. I will be going, obviously the next vlog's coming up. I'll be able to talk to you more about what we've got booked and all the plans there. I would expect to see a few more videos of like vacation idea outfits. If you have any suggestions, if you've done any travel since COVID's been around, let me know of things that I need to consider. This will be the first time on a plane since 2019 so and I'm terrified of flying let alone having to add in all the stress of flying during a pandemic so if you have any tips or tricks I'd love to know um, if you have any websites where you recommend me go shopping uh, let me know 
I do need to get evening gowns for the Cannes Film Festival if we're lucky enough to get to go to a premiere. Um, you have to wear evening gown and my partner will have to wear a tuxedo and that and you there's also a chance that you could end up on the red carpet so you know you need to dress really really fancy so if you have any like suggestions on where to get formal wear let me know but yeah I'm so excited I've already bought like a dress that I intend to take over there which is probably a bit silly um, but the good thing is that because I have been contact tracing at the moment at work and obviously that um, has to occur Monday to Sunday I can kind of switch my uh, roster around and work Sundays make a little bit more money so I can save up and do that thing and I just want to acknowledge that yes I'm very privileged that I have the luxury to be able to travel during these times I do acknowledge that these times can be quite rough for a lot of people but saying that I am also very proud of all the hard work myself and my partner have put in the last few years to um, be able to go on this trip so 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 excited um, yeah that was the big news I've been wanting to share I am honestly just so excited um, what else should I fill you in about well because I again because of contact tracing I am working on Sunday this week and instead of like a uh, straight Monday to Friday so I've done Monday is Thursday which means tomorrow is my weekend so on Friday um, tomorrow I have the day off since I'm working on Sunday and I'm so excited because yeah, it's like a weekday off which will be really nice and it's like a day to myself so I'm still trying to work out what I'll do my plan is I think I'll go to the gym in the morning and then I'm not sure yet if I'll go to the beach go for a walk we'll see um, the weather is still so hot we're going into autumn but it's 37 degrees so being on a blanket that's why we have the fan on but yeah that was the news I wanted to share so I'm so excited um, yeah please let me know any tips or tricks or anything else you want to know about the trip in the description below and yes like I said there'll be so many videos coming out that'll be tailored to that so get excited but for the rest of the evening, I need to either have a shower or a bubble bath. So it's currently 9.30, so I'm just working out what I want to do. But I've been taking it pretty chill since I came home from the gym. But yeah, so I will see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Friday. I haven't spoke to you all morning, but it's just about 12 p.m. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday that I had the day off today because I'm working on a Sunday instead. And all day yesterday I was trying to work out what I'm going to do today. Really wanted to have like a guess, a day to myself, self-love. Had all these plans to go to the beach, go to the gym, which I still will go to the gym. Um, like go for walks, all of this. And instead this morning I've actually been cleaning all morning. I uh, still got quite a bit to do but I gave myself a time limit to clean till midday and then I can go out. And I think that this is just like a little reminder that like self-love is not always about indulging in yourself and um, you know getting your nails done all of that kind of stuff that it definitely is a component of it but uh, for me like a lot of these self-love things are like doing stuff that will make me feel better at the end um, so I know in the last few vlogs I've spoken about how my house is just getting a little bit out of um, you know out of order a bit chaotic and when I have a chaotic environment then it comes into my personal life that's just how I operate so for me self-love today was really like trying to organize my space um, I also mentioned at the start of vlog like I'd taken two weeks off trying to get a routine and during those two weeks like I didn't really develop a routine but I also didn't do anything like put anything out into the universe that would change my routine so, you know, there comes a point, there's definitely factors in your life that mean some days are bad, some days are good. Um, totally agree with that. But there does come a point where, like, I have to actively do things to change my routine, to build those habits, that kind of stuff. So today I was like, you know what, no, I'm going to stay home, I'm going to start cleaning, do some loads of washing. So I've got that done, which is really good. I'm um, feeling so much better for it. The kitchen's like all clean now. Um, and now I get to have fun. So, sorry, my watch just buzzed. 
Um, so what I am going to do is I'm just going to make some lunch. My friend, actually, my friend makes like homemade sourdough and she gave me some, which is so good. So let me show you because it's like, oh, doesn't that look so good? Um, my manager at work who used to be a chef was like, it looks like she bought it. Like that's how good it is and it tastes so good. I had it with soup last night, but I'm going to make a sandwich. Um, pack that in my bag and then I gotta go and do a couple of errands. So I'm gonna go into the city. Um, my partner's birthday is on Tuesday but he likes to keep it very like low key. So I'm gonna just go have a couple of things that I need to get for his birthday present um, to finish that off. And then my plan is to take my lunch across um, to South Perth, catch the ferry over and just kind of like do the more typical self-love I suppose where I go for a walk, have a picnic, just sit down outside in nature, maybe take um, maybe take my book and do some reading but yeah we'll just see. So that is my little Friday morning update but this is the makeup. I don't know if you can get a good idea of it. I might show you in better lighting later but I've gone like really really natural so um, as you can see, I actually haven't put any concealer on today. I've just gone with my Clinique foundation, which is the one I want to I wear if I don't want full full coverage. And then just a little bit of blush. And I've let my like freckles come through, which I also usually will, you know, do full coverage. But I want to just let my skin shine through a little bit today. I also have a dinner tonight, so I know that like I'm gonna take this off and do full coverage then. So I just wanted my skin. To breathe a little bit but also with something on. So that's my little update but I'm gonna make lunch and then we can hit the road. like these peel me sections honestly I end up stabbing it half the time because I just can't open it. I'm just packing a light lunch because I will eat again when I come home but I thought it'd be nice to take a sandwich across. Perth. So I just went into the city, ran a couple of errands, had to pick up a birthday card from Kmart. Um, still need to get a couple of presents because a few of the shops in the city didn't have what I wanted, but that's alright. Then I caught the um, ferry across to South Perth, which is what you would have seen. And now I've just picked a little spot in the shade to have a little picnic by myself, but I'll show you the view. So this is a little like South Perth for sure. Honestly, look at the sky. I thought it was going to rain for a bit, but it's so beautiful. And then over there we got the city, so I can zoom you in a bit. So I caught the ferry from over there. Then there's this weird sculpture thing here, which I'm not sure about, but that's okay. So I'm going to enjoy my lunch and that's it. The amount of ants on this tree is actually crazy. I'm gonna see how good my camera is to see if I can show you. Well, you can see them actually. Look, look at them. Is that not crazy? I wondered why ants kept coming on me. They're probably coming from the tree. Let's see how good it will zoom in on them. 
the wind is starting to pick up so that's probably my signal that it is time to head back over there so we'll ferry back across and walk home and hopefully not get rained on but we'll see what happens so this is the ferry coming in so that's what i'm going to catch going back out we are back home i've actually been home for a couple of hours now i've just gone to pick up my partner from work did a little bit more cleaning around the house. I am absolutely starving, but because I'm going out for dinner, I'm trying not to eat like a really, really huge meal. So I've just made my protein smoothie. I didn't film it because you've seen it so many times, but I did actually film it for Instagram. So I'm gonna do an updated reel of the protein smoothie over on there eventually. But yeah, gonna enjoy this place and Mario party, have a little rest before we get ready. For oh yeah, but what are we having there? Yeah. I like that stuff though. Yeah, good. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is just before 10.30. Um, I have a couple of errands to run again this morning. So I'm heading into the city to pick up a couple of things and then I am... Um, going to the gym I'm doing like so I think I mentioned yesterday that my gym has their open day today and as part of it they've got like this free two-hour workshop on like glute development run by a um, bodybuilder so that would be really interesting take my notebook take a few notes I have a picnic later today so I've got a day full of activities and then we're going out for dinner actually my partner and I because it's his birthday on Tuesday so that'll be really really nice but I want to show you the outfit um, I think it's gonna be a 50-50 as to if you like it or you don't so let me do that and then I gotta go to the city I call this meeting at 9 gym at 10 um, I saw Laura Lee like wear something very similar but much more styled so because when I come home I'm gonna go straight to the gym I actually have on my active wear so I have on Nike shorts and a do you even white and black speckled sports bra absolutely love this and then I thought that's probably like maybe I need to put something on to head into the city so I just put this oversized blue blazer on that I have from cotton from Supre but yeah let me know if you love it or hate it I don't know yet but whatever it's a vibe <laughs> Sunday I think I talked to you on my lunch break I worked today um, kind of a good thing I think at the moment but because I've been doing contact tracing it operates Monday to Sunday so I can kind of pick which days I want to work during the week so currently I've started trying to do Sunday to Thursday which I like um, it is gone five o'clock I finished at four I, we just watched an episode of Modern Family, but because it is Sunday, I'm still going to try and treat it as like a weekend evening night. So we are going to go watch the sunset down by the beach, which would be really, really nice, my partner and I. We're going to um, City Beach, which is where we went for Valentine's Day. So fingers crossed this time I don't get stung by a bee. So I thought that I'll finish the vlog off here in terms of the talking part and you can just enjoy the sunset to follow. But I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been really nice to pick up the camera and uh, start filming again because I did have those couple of weeks off. Super excited to finally let you guys know that I'm intending to go to Europe um, and the Cannes Film Festival, which is so exciting. So obviously I'll keep updating you as we book stuff um, during the next few weekly vlogs and as I buy some outfits I'm sure we'll have some videos tailored towards that if you have any suggestions of what you'd want to see always comment it down below and yeah please don't forget to comment like subscribe follow me over on Instagram it's just at Brooke McQuay. that's where you'll see everything that I get up to in my everyday life a bit more behind the scenes and yes enjoy this sunset so bye